Crispy rice sushi is the perfect appetizer for a dinner party. It's so impressive, it's so delicious, and has so many like different textural elements. Spicy tuna is paired with crispy rice and a little bit of avocado with a sweet and spicy sriracha for a fun and textural flavor contrast. Hi y'all, welcome to Cozy Meal Studios where the vibes are just immaculate and the food is delicious. My name is Yanni and today we're making crispy rice sushi. Before we begin, do me a little flavor and hit the like button, hit subscribe and tap on our little notification bell. Let's get into it. Start by preparing the sushi rice. Rinse your rice, it's gonna be really helpful to have less starch. To cook the rice, either use a rice cooker or cook the rice on the stovetop. If you're gonna cook the rice on the stovetop, Place one cup of water and add the drained sushi rice to this. So first you're gonna bring the mixture to a boil over medium high heat. And when it starts boiling, you're gonna cover the saucepan with a lid. Then reduce the heat to medium low and just simmer it for 10 minutes. When it's done, turn the heat off and just let it steam for 10 more minutes. Leave the lid on top. While the rice is steaming, you're gonna stir together the unseasoned rice vinegar, granulated sugar, and kosher salt until the sugar fully dissolves. Now, in a large bowl, we're gonna transfer the cooked rice to the center. Allow the rice to cool for maybe 10 minutes, and then you're gonna pour the rice vinegar mixture over the rice and slowly mix it with a large spoon or a rice paddle, being super careful not to break the rice grains. You don't want this to be mushy. Be really delicate with this. Line a nine by nine inch square baking pan with plastic wrap. Place the sushi rice in the baking pan. You're gonna cover the rice and you're gonna refrigerate it until it is completely cooled. Ideally overnight, or you can be like me and do this at the very last minute and just throw it in the freezer. When it's fully cooled, carefully remove the sushi rice from the refrigerator. Using a knife moistened with a little water, slice it into rectangles. This should yield about 20 pieces total. In a skillet over medium heat, add the frying oil and pan fry the crispy rice in batches until it's golden brown on both sides, about three to four minutes per side. Place the crispy rice on a wire rack to let any excess oil drip. Now let's prepare the spicy tuna topping. In a mixing bowl, mix the Japanese mayo I like to use QP mayo, it's like a classic, it's a staple in my kitchen, I use it on everything. So mix this with the sriracha, soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar until it's well combined. Add the chopped tuna and toss until it's well coated. You're gonna cover and refrigerate this until you're ready to use it. If you want, you can also use sashimi grade salmon if you're not a big tuna girly. Prepare the sweet and spicy sriracha sauce, which is what we'll use to top this delicious concoction with. In a bowl, combine the Japanese mayo, honey, and sriracha. Mix this until it's well combined. Top the crispy rice sushi by topping with thinly sliced avocado, and top with gorgeous drizzles of our sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. Place a cute little slice of jalapeno in the center of each of them, and finish it off with a little sprinkle of black sesame seeds. Serve this up, enjoy. It is gonna become a staple in the kitchen. It's super simple and just incredibly delicious. For the full recipe, please head to the description box below or go to cozymeal.com recipes. Babes, if you have not already, do not forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. As always, my name is Yanni, and thank you for watching Cozy Meal Studios. I will see you next time.